so I was lucky enough to uh, grab some ash and uh, this stuff has been it's pretty much going to be a, uh, extinct in the area from uh, the emerald ash borer um, Matt Keevil I think that's how you pronounce his last name he has a really good YouTube channel uh, he's into the same stuff except he does it better <laughs> so check out his channel he was telling me in uh, the comments that there's more than one type of borer but the other types apparently aren't the ones that kill the tree they're just the ones that are uh, well the tree is susceptible to them when the tree is dead or dying so it's possible that emerald ash borer you know helps take these things out and then the other couple borers you know finish the job or you know I asked them do you think uh, do you think the other borers or I forget what I asked them <laughs> I forgot the whole thing I was just saying but anyway check out his channel really nice channel uh, he's a knowledgeable guy it seems and you know he's doing the stuff that I would like to be doing like I'm just splitting wood and cross-cutting small sections whereas he's you know felling trees and bucking big wood he's doing pretty cool stuff so uh, I got a few axes today I got two Connecticut patterns and uh, a Tassie and I'll show you these while I use them this is gonna be in the way isn't it this is uh, not the easiest to split ash could be easier I'll tell you that Yeah. This, is, this is fun stuff though someone also I, I think uh, a long time ago I asked uh, is ash good for um, smoking uh, you know smoking uh, meat and uh, I forget his name but he was saying that it's one of the best for uh, for steaks because it burns hot which I can't deny that Ash is a good firewood, be, good BTU. I um, forget what he said about the flavor. I think I asked him if it imparts flavor, and I don't think he got back to me. But uh, yeah, if you guys know anything about that, I'd love to hear your thoughts. You see, this is just not... I'll show you the profile. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. But uh, it's a Connecticut pattern. They're not, they're not the thickest axes. It's a uh, plum Connie. Remember how I said one identifying feature of a Connecticut pattern is the tapering pole. So it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. You can really see it on this one. Really gets down to a small pole on this. It's almost like an old axe. Some of those old axes have skinny poles. Like... Uh, kind of pre 1850s in America maybe maybe I'm off on the on the uh, dates there but uh, that's just what I think I have another this is one of my more special stamps this is a rare stamp this is an American axe with uh, anything with a native on it is cool to me with a native stamp a Native American chief or whoever it's gonna be just cool to me I learned a little bit about the uh, crow and uh, by the way the 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 tribe the crow it was named the crow because some dude was like yo what do you what are you guys called and and one of the tribe members just pointed to a bird and he's like oh that's a crow so you guys are the crow <laughs> but that that's probably not what was going on he was just pointing to a bird he could have meant like we fly and shit <laughs> we're the flyers the uh profile on this one might be a little better because it's worn but not not really it's not the best profile this is just how it is with smaller axes this is not a splitting axe this is more of a do it uh do everything axe oops wow that was a that was a, a three quarters of an inch miss there there we go these handles leave a lot to be desired. Okay, that's pretty much split. Let's uh, pull out the, the Tazzy now. This is gonna be the best splitter, so 
let's put a big round on here. I don't usually do uh, chopping blocks, but why not? Yeah, the bore got really deep in this stuff. Um, let's see if I can find a, a round with some bore damage. Nah, well, uh, the, re the reason why I say that is because I was looking for uh, handle billets out of some of this. And uh, the bore was like really far in. Maybe there's no heartwood. Or maybe there's very little heartwood because this is kind of the young part of the tree. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. People say the borer doesn't go past sapwood, but what if most of the tree is sapwood? Or at least part of it out here. Let me show you this. High Test Craftsman. It's the one of the early hangs I did. It's a uh, purple heart. You, you see how brown it gets? This is a splitter, though. I did thin it a little, maybe a little too much, who knows. It won't be too sticky though. Uh, what, what do you guys want, half? In half or slabbing off pieces? I'm just gonna I'll close my eyes and let it happen now. <laughs> I'll slab some pieces first. Ooh, this is loose. I just felt this is loose. Not surprised, early hang, not, not a great hang. Hold on, let me, let me check this. Yeah, it's loose, but uh, it should stay on still. That hurt, <laughs> I didn't like doing the, f you really gotta have a comfortable handle to do the flick, guys. Something to think about. Um, if you're gonna keep doing that to your hands, make sure that handle's nice. One of the reasons why I'm using a chopping block, I guess. One of the reasons why I could justify it. Because I don't usually do it. So I gotta do the flick there or else I'll hurt the I'll hurt the handle on this. And uh, that's really you just want a better handle than this. Yeah, this is splitting nice. Not too bad. So I had a few tough rounds that I split where this was uh, taken down. They were a little knotty. This is pretty straight. Ooh, see that was almost an overstrike if it kept going down, but we're okay. Yeah, it just feels bad to, uh, to uh, flick with this. I'm about to go over that one day. Okay. I think I'm gonna save some of this. I don't know if I, uh, if you've heard me talk about this, but sure, I'd love to split, you know, 30 rounds in a a sitting. Uh, first of all, to get my stamina up. Um, but I like splitting every day and. I can't get timber all the time, so sometimes I'll save it. And I'm not just splitting for the camera. I, I do it for my own self, you know. There we go. That felt good. All right. This is not a funny video, I guess. <laughs> Maybe I should, uh, here we go. Maybe I should, uh, loop in. That disgusting ramen. You see the boar. Man, I'm bad with cameras, aren't I? Yeah, you can see the boar right here. The uh, kind of kind of dust, fine powder from. It's amazing how the emerald ash borer and the different wood borers. How are they doing this? Imagine using your t fucking teeth to get through wood. No thanks. What are, the, what are they, little beavers? Little beaver boys? All right, a couple more splits, and we're going to call it a day. Yeah, that was easy. You saw how little I needed to put power into that. And one more. And we're good to go. So, yeah, 
few axes, a little bit of splitting. Thanks for watching, guys.